What is going on guys? Today we have got an SBC for the very first flashback and it is Theo Walcott and I'm unsure about the design to be honest with you. It looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool but then at the same time I don't know if it looks messy or not. I, I think I'll grow to like it but I'm just I'm not too sure about the pixels. It's something different and I think we can only agree with I'm happy that they're trying something different. We've got Theo Walcott at an 85 rated for uh, Everton, so not bad. Good, good. Uh, introduced to the uh, to the Premier League, 96 pace, which to be honest, may be the biggest stat that anybody will look at. Shooting wise at 81, I'm pretty happy with that. 88 agility. Overall, not a bad card. May not be the best card in the world when it comes to God squads and stuff like that. Uh, but overall, not a bad card at all. SBC-wise, so we've got a Southampton player, an Arsenal player, an Everton player, and then an 83-rated team. Not too bad. Top form, we've got an 83-rated team with one team in a week. And then we have an 85-rated team with two English players minimum and 80 chem for a rare Electrum. So the packs, for me, aren't incredible. But I think for the card it is... It's not a bad SBC. Obviously, he's going to be very pacey, very, very quick going up and down them wings. And I'm kind of half and half depending on whether to do it or not. Rare electric players, you can get some good players back. Small rare gold pa uh, players pack is okay. You could obviously get something pretty good from that back. The 85 one is the one that's really getting to me of whether I should do it or not. Um, personally, I've got a few people in the club. Hummels doesn't go for very much. Neither does Navas. So I could put them in to really bump up that rating. Um, apart from that, Koke, I suppose, doesn't go for a hell of a lot. Ibra is another one. And I'm kind of unsure whether to do it or not. I'm, I'm looking at it thinking it could be decent. I wonder if Footbin's got the actual pricing for it yet. We'll have a look and see what we've actually got to put in. And then I may kind of consider doing it or not. Right, so now I actually have finished it prior on the other side of that. Right now I have finished it, it is the 85 rated team. Just to put everyone into perspective, a lot of these are pack pulled. So just take, pause this video basically, have a look at the loyalty that I've got on a few of them. If you need to get that loyalty, go to the loyalty glitch. But that is how you get the 80 chem with two English players. Probably could go with someone better than Ali. Um, it's just players that I've got. I've only bought three players in this team or four players in this team but we've got it done there's the first one done uh, in there and we will have to look at making a different team as Schultzer is in my starting team but hopefully we do get some it packed back that would be ideal is around about 120k to finish that is going to be something can we get a walkout we do let's go it's going to be German it's going to be a cam it's going to be Bayern Munich it's going to be Muller 86 rated. I will take it. It's an 86 rated card. He can then go back into an SBC as I'm pretty sure he isn't that expensive as an 86. So that's always a blessing. Um, and we also get Sergio Roberto and Abraham in the pack as well. Um, I think Sergio Roberto actually goes for a couple of K. Yeah, it goes for a little bit. We'll, we'll whack him up for four and a half and we'll wait for the bid. Um, and again, Muller can go straight back in the team um, into an SBC. That is fantastic. So now all we've got left is the 83 rated players. We also have the one team of the week in this one. Um, and I believe this is the small rare gold pack. So we're going to go into the club and I'll be back again once it has been completed. So we have completed the second team now. Top form, one team of the week, which is going to be the goalkeeper uh, that literally costs discard. Uh, I think I'm first owner, but literally is absolutely no price whatsoever. I think he's untradeable as well, which is always good. Muller's been thrown into the SBC and then an array of 82s and a couple of 83s to get this small rare gold player pack. Um, obviously, not too fussed about them. Uh, they can all go in. None of them are in my starting team. And you never know, we could potentially get a walkout from this. I won't try my luck too much with it, um, but it's always a possibility with six rare players. Um, it is not going to be anybody, I don't think. I think it's a board. It is. It's going to be Casillas, by any chance, an 83-rated goalkeeper, which is always good because he can, again, can go straight back into that SBC. Will I see a major pack in the final one? Probably not. But we get Vasquez, uh, we get Herrera, and uh, 
Vanekin as well. So players to be put back into this SBC. It has cost a little bit so far because obviously at the minute we don't have a huge amount of different players in the squad or at least I don't anyway. In this one we need one Southampton, one Arsenal, one Everton um, and then 83 rated of course as well. Um, so that is what we're going to do first. We're going to have a look at who we've got already. We currently have no Southampton players which is a little bit of a concern. Um, obviously from, uh, obviously he's going to be the most expensive and I can imagine he is already being price fixed and he is most definitely being price fixed already. We are back, we have finally finished past and present. Again, a little bit more expensive but Navas is untradeable and we're quite happy to give him up. Um, again, I've, oh, actually is it finished? Hold on, you've got to back out and back in. Sometimes there's a bit of a glitch uh, with the chemistry when you're doing position changes. So you back out, you go back in, and there we go. It is all completed, and that is it. That is Theo Walcott, so definitely stay tuned. I'm going to try and get a review on him tonight, so stay tuned for that. We're going to have a look at this open pack, and we have basically finished Theo Walcott already. Um, incredible, really. Really, really happy with him. Hopefully, he is a good player, as I've whacked a lot in. And that looks awesome. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like the little camera angle as well. Um, that's fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and open the final pack. And then we will get on to doing a bit of Theo Walcott. Obviously this means some of the reviews that I had planned for later on today will stop at the minute. But we will get Theo Walcott out as soon as possible. And then they will all resume tomorrow as I don't think there'll be more content. We've got a premium mixed players pack. I can't see much coming from this really. Um, but you never know with it. Um, I don't think that's anything. So we got one walkout out of it. You could get lucky. You could get someone really, really expensive. Um, Diego Carlos, not really going to go for anything. But we still were grinding. We're putting in players. Hopefully we can get ourselves back up there for the next one. Um, and apart from that, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all for the next one.